guys, welcome back. So today we are gonna talk all about my least used handbags thus far of 2023. I've been seeing a bunch of luxury YouTubers do this video and I just, I felt like I wanted to, I wanted to participate. So here I am participating. Some of these bags are actually being carried over from last year's 2022 least used handbags video. So I'll link that video up here. So in case you guys want to check that out or in case you guys missed it, but some of these might actually shock you. So if you guys want to know which are the five handbags that I have used the least in 2023, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm going to say. If you're not already subscribed, explain yourself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I feel like you're going to want to be here when I do. If you like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion like fashion <laughs> i think this is definitely where you're gonna want to be so you should subscribe if you're not already and you should follow me over on instagram if you're not already it's just a k danger i post every single day over there every day there's a real outfit of the day something on stories it's a lot we post a lot over there so you should definitely follow me over there if you're not already and with all that out of the way let's jump into the video so obviously all of my handbags are behind me so i'm gonna have to grab them as i speak about them and this is not in any like particular order these are just the bags all together, all five bags that I have used the least. I have no idea which one I've used the least least and which one I've used the most least. So the first one will not come as any surprise and it's gonna be, hello, all right, we're gonna, it's a mess, hold on. The first one is gonna be my yellow cocoa handle in the size small. This is from the 22P collection, if I remember that correctly. I'll link the unboxing right up here. This is one of my least used bags for sure. I've used it one time so far and we're in June and I got this in December. I'm absolutely not getting rid of this bag. It's not going anywhere. I love this color. This is just the perfect like lemon yellow color and I love it. I love the cocoa handle. You guys know this. I will link a video all about the cocoa handle right up here. It's the color. Like I'll tell you right now, it's the color. I don't have as much yellow in my collection as I thought, as much stuff that would match with yellow as I thought. I love her even though I don't use her that much because like she's like in perfect condition. Look at this. Amazing. Why don't I use this? I mean, I do know why, I know why. This one probably doesn't shock you guys because other than my green Lady Dior bag, this is my most recent handbag. So it's it's obvious that I haven't used it like as much, but I got this before 2023 started. So the fact that I've only used it one time this year is like, another bag that I have barely used is going to be sadly and tragically my heart bag. So obviously this is the 22S mini heart bag. So I guess this is the, technically the heart clutch on chain and this is in the purple color. I'll link the unboxing in the cards as well. All my unboxings are always linked in the description box, by the way, in case you wanna see any of these other bags being unboxed. But I've used this bag twice this year. Once was for Valentine's Day because obviously, and then the other time was just one day I was wearing a purple shirt and that's it i mean i kind of felt like this was going to happen because purple is one of my least favorite colors i really don't like we just don't get along i don't really own too much in purple too much that would match purple so for me like i kind of had a feeling that i wasn't going to use this as much but again this bag is not going anywhere i love it so much i know that a lot of people are not really into the heart bag right now i absolutely love it and i mean i wouldn't get this in like another color or anything this was just the perfect one for me and i'm happy i have this one i'm definitely not letting it go but Wish I used her more, you know? Since we are on this shelf, let's just pull the next bag out, shall we? This is my Chanel 19 in the small size slash medium. Uh, I call it the small, but I know sometimes it's called the medium, but this is the smallest size of the Chanel 19. And this is in this gorgeous green color. I have no idea what season this is from. If you know, please let me know. This green color, I don't have like a bright, like Bottega green bag. And I don't really feel like I want one because this green bag, this green color, is just the whole everything to me it's the whole everything i love that this color lets me wear this bag in like every season because i feel like the 19 is a very fall bag i'll link a video i made all about fall handbags up here but because this color is like a color and not black or caramel it definitely allows me to use it in like the spring and summer months but it's not such a bright color that i can't use it in fall it's kind of like a deeper undertone so it's a beautiful this this color is the one you guys but i've used this bag zero times total this year zero absolutely no times not even one time for me to have these bags literally sitting on my shelf just collecting dust not being used that's like it's definitely not the vibe honestly it's a little embarrassing like this is like a several thousand dollar bag that just sits on my shelf but i do love it i did make a video comparing the 19 to the classic flap so i'll link that video right up here in case you guys are curious 
but I do love this bag. There is absolutely nothing that deters me from picking up any of the bags behind me. I would just say the color is the main thing. For me, I always pick a bag that matches like perfectly with my outfit. Today I was wearing my white Lady Dior because the green Lady Dior doesn't match the rudest dog. Because the green Lady Dior is just like a couple shades darker than the actual outfit that I'm wearing. So I went with the white Lady Dior instead. And again, that's not really how most people wear it. Like even this bag, like I could have worn this together. But I'm really anal about these things, okay? <laughs> so for me, the outfit has to like perfectly match with the bag that I'm wearing. And I guess I don't have as many outfits to match with this green color as I thought I did. Oh my God, the ice cream man is here! Ice cream man! Anyways, on to my next bag. I think this is gonna shock you because this was one of my most used bags last year. And that is gonna be my Prada Edition 2000. 2000. You guys know how hot this bag had been for the last few years. So I don't know if that kind of played into the reason that I used it so much, but I have not used this bag, not one time this year. This was like one of my favorite going out bags. This was one of my go-to, like I'm going out. I would take either this one or my 2005 re-edition if I was like, really getting crazy but I just haven't reached for it this year and honestly I think that the reason is because I have barely gone out this year last year I went out like I went out a lot but this year one of my best friends literally just gave birth like a week two weeks ago and the other one literally just got married so pretty much we're not going out as much as we were before so that's I think the main reason that I haven't used this bag but I definitely love it Again, this one is not leaving my collection. I know it's not as popular now as it was before. I know not as many people are like talking about these bags or buying these bags as they once were, but I don't care because it's gorgeous. It's a stunning bag and I definitely recommend it. I don't know about the price now because when I bought it, it definitely was not. I think it's like $2,700 now. That's a lot, but I still think this is beautiful. Like if you have this in your collection, do not sell it. First of all, you're not gonna get what you would have gotten if you sold it like back then, but also it's just a gorgeous piece and I think a conversation starter. So for my only sparkly bag, I'm happy it's this one. And my final bag and one that I am like fairly positive is actually going to leave my collection. I, I haven't actually made the decision yet, but I have to say Deb from Wild Unfiltered, she just made a video that she sold hers and it's the exact same one as mine. And I don't know. My collection is really just, it's curated in a way that like any color bag that I would need, pretty much I'm missing burgundy and I'm missing like a really hot pink. But other than that, any other color that I would need, I have behind me. So I feel like I feel a little bit wary. It was featured in my least used bags from last year. It is my gray trendy CC. I just dropped my business affinity. Come on, man. I do not use this bag. I really don't. I used it one time this year so far, and I actually posted a picture twice this year with this bag, but one of the pictures was in January, which means I definitely took it in December or even November. I don't post my outfit of the days for literally months. Since it was on my list last year as one of my absolute least used bags, I'm really questioning if I need this color bag. I do have two gray bags, this one and then the light gray mini top handle, which is over here. I definitely use the mini top handle more and I just feel like any situation that I wear this one, or at least pretty much any situation, I could wear that one and I prefer the mini top handle style. Like personally, that's my favorite style of bag. But the thing that stops me, there's two things and honestly, they're both kind of stupid. It's because I don't have another trendy in my collection. So if I get rid of this one, then I won't have a trendy CC and I do like the trendy CC and then I wouldn't have a dark gray bag. And as we already spoke about, I have problems and I need a bag in every color. So those are the two things stopping me. That's really what's stopping me from selling anything in my collection because right now, you know, everything has a reason, everything has a purpose. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm really contemplating letting this one go though. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I haven't sold a bag in probably over a year at this point. I think the last bag I sold was my So Black Coco handle and I'm pretty sure that was at least a year ago. I just don't use this bag at all and I just feel like what's the point 
of having it there if I don't use it. And this was a gift from my husband, by the way, but he doesn't care if I sell it. I don't care if I sell it. So like, that's not really a factor in here either. <laughs> so yeah, those were my least used bags for 2023. So far, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys thought about my picks. What are your least used bags this year? Definitely let me know. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. And that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. This is all my purses. What? <laughs> and this is all my mommy's purses. We share.